No, not you. Don't you cause a problem. No, 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 no. You're too small to cause problems. What are you doing? I'm getting rid of all these snakes. Not just the ones here. These are the ones I can fit right now. There's more, more than these. But, oh my gosh. All right. I need to get this place back in order. Wow. What the? Oh no. Doesn't seem like there's a snake losing here. Ah, oh, no. Big ol' sn- oh. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> She's going somewhere. I see you over there. Don't go back under there. to get all these snakes on the table. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ugh. Come on, go in the hide. You know you wanna go in there. Go, go, good. Oh, we just might make this happen. No, where are you going? You can't sneak out the back door. Ugh. Ugh. No, you're sneaking out the back door too? Oh, you're not. Okay, forget this. I won't go in there. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. I'm getting rid of all these snakes. Not just the ones here, these are the ones I can fit right now. There's more, more than these, but, oh my gosh. All right, I need to get this place back in order. No, where are you going? No! It took me a long time to get that Burmese python back in her enclosure. Dude, she literally ripped the probe cord out of the probe to the copper, like, while she was back there, it was absolutely ridiculous. Before I get into the meat of this video and show you these snakes, I just wanted to give a sincere thank you to all of you that reached out after that last video. Like there were so many people that reached out, I, I didn't even have, I haven't even had time to reply to everybody that, that reached out. So just thank you so much. Like it means a lot to me. Yeah, she's not super happy after that, <laughs> that little debacle. And I'm not really that happy either, breaking my stuff back there. No, 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 we're hanging out here. And she's covered in musk. Oh, good times. It's getting a little easier to want to get rid of this snake right now. <laughs> um, but that's not that's not really a nice way to say it. I, I don't mean that I'm gonna get rid of them, even though technically I guess that's correct. I, I, I'm really wanting to find better homes for them. New homes and better homes and for all the snakes I'm about to show you, it's basically, you know, I just don't think that I'm giving them the attention that they need. I'm, I'm caring for them, making sure they're clean and, and fed and all that, but they just, they don't get the activity that 
the two big snakes that I'm not going to get rid of do. You know, those, those two snakes, Halo and Betsy Ross, get to go do educational programs all the time with all the kids. And I just don't want to, th this snake actually would be fine for educational program, but she's actually a pretty good party trick there with that, how loud and hissy she is. Even though she's such a puppy dog, even when I was taking her out of that rack there, she just like, she had no problem. Um, she didn't try to bite me or anything, which I thought like, okay, this, this is gonna be the time she tries to bite me because she's all tucked up in that rack and I'm trying to get her out. But no, no, she just did her usual hissy noise and no biting. So she's cool. Roxanne, Hypo Burmese Python, female. Um, but I just, you know, like I said, I, I feel like I want her to go and, and, and I say, I'm not just getting rid of them. It's that that isn't actually technically correct, I guess, because I'm really looking for really good homes for them. I, I'm not I'm not going to put them on a morph market auction or something. I might list some of these snakes that I'm going to um, be moving on in on morph market, but this one I'm not. Um, I really want to make sure. I guess I could move on morph market. The point is, I just really want to make sure that whoever gets them, it's going to be a like a special place they go to. You know, somebody's going to build out a nice enclosure for them. And um, oh my gosh, the studio is falling apart. <clears throat> no, let's not do that again. No, 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 no. 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 Gosh, dang it. Oh. Okay. All right. So I, I guess I'm I'm just going to sweat through this video. That's just what it is. I would take two showers. Um, next snake. Oh, oh, it's hard to sit and stand. Hit the gym super hard the last couple days. Probably not hard enough to be ready for tank top season, but okay, Patsy LaRue. Now, these snakes are obviously a little bit of a handful, but they're not like monsters. They're just, they're just a little bit of a handful. They're, they're kind of big. Um, not, not as big as some snakes can definitely get, but Patsy here is a phantom sunfire, 100% het purple albino, uh, Clark strain, and hence purple. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, a uh, female, and she just doesn't, you know, she doesn't get the attention here that I, I'd like her to get. Um, so when it comes to how we're gonna get these snakes to whoever's hands they end up into. I know they're a little big, I've never shipped snakes this big, although I did help Garrett ship some really big snakes one time, but it's like Delta Dash and we built these custom boxes, but I'm sure that Red, Redline could help me figure out some kind of way, or I will be at the Super Show um, at the end of this month, is it June? At, at the LA Pet Fair, the Reptile Super Show, Bird Super Show, all that, that big show that Rami's putting on, I'll be there so we could be meeting up there if you're somewhere and you're coming there, that could be a good meeting point. or I'd even be willing to do a little bit of a road trip to to transport any of these bigger snakes. Um, just because it sounds like fun. I love road trips. So... Again, Phantom Sunfire, 100% Het Purple Albino, female. Um, and really good snake. You know, good, good temperament. All of these snakes are obviously tremendous eaters. Um, she's eating rabbits. That Roxanne, that Burmese python, she's actually eating um, jumbo rats. And that's all I've ever fed her. Except for the small rats I was feeding her when she was a baby. But yeah, just jumbo rats. She got that big on jumbos. So she never wanted a rabbit. So I was like, all right, jumbo rats it is. This girl on the other hand will take a 10 pound rabbit, no problem. One more big one. Beatrice Mochino, super cool. Really don't <laughs> want to get rid of her, but same time, same reason that I'm gonna be moving the rest of them. Just, I don't think she gets the attention she deserves, and that's that's about it. I, you know, I was initially planning to breed all these big snakes when I first got them, and I just, I, ch I changed my mind, decided not to, so. I'm not 100% against them going to a breeder, um, but it, I would prefer that they're just going as pets. Um, <sighs> they're all very well-behaved snakes. No doubt about that. Big, beautiful, handfuls, but very well-behaved. Like, you see, I just pulled her out. I didn't need a hook or anything like that. Like, 
None of these snakes have ever struck at me. Um, super chill. I, I take that back. Patsy LaRue did grab my hand once at a feeding spot response bite, but that was totally my fault. And there were a bunch of rats everywhere and she thought my hand was a rat, but that was just a moment. And then she let go. And that was, that was the only ever incident I ever had with her, but like, super chill. Um, and just, yeah. Yeah, I think a road trip would be fun. I don't think I just want to ship them off. I, I, I'd want to. I'd want to do an in-person handoff. <laughs> no, not you. Don't you cause a problem? No, 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 no. You're too small to cause problems. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, so. These three also, you got a lemon pastel, scaleless head clown female, a stingless bee female, and a leopard spider female. Um, all proven breeders and uh, just not gonna be working any of these projects any longer. So they're gonna be moving on. This is the first time I've, is it? Anyway, as far as, um, price for any of these go. I'm not trying to make a profit on any of them. I just wanted to you know, hopefully recoup what it was I initially paid for them. And I'm not even married to that idea. I, I would like to recoup at least some of what I paid for them, even those retics as babies. I, I'm not trying to like make profit just because I raised them and stuff. I enjoyed raising them. It was good care. And again, not even married to the idea of, of getting all of my, my money back for them. So I uh, really just want to see them go to, go to good homes more than anything. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go take my, go take my third shower of the day. If you want to watch a really cool video and you're not done yet, this one right here uh, of us going out and checking out some very cute newts that could kill you, that might be a good one to watch right there. But y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.